Hey, so in the grand scheme of things, I am a small creator, which means I deal with pretty regular sexual harassment, and a couple times a year I get a death threat or someone tells me to commit suicide, because sometimes people on the internet forget that they are interacting with people. To quote Aziz Ansari's book Modern Romance, as we see more and more people online, it can get difficult to remember that behind every text message, OkCupid okay, profile, YouTube video, comment, and Tinder picture, there is an actual breathing complex person just like you. But it's so, so important to remember this. For one thing, when you forget you're talking to a real person, you might start saying the kind of things that no person in their right mind would ever say to a real life person in a million years. Yet, people send these kinds of text messages all the time. I can only conclude that it's so easy to forget that you're talking to another human being and not a bubble. There really isn't anything I can do to make other people be kinder on the internet, but I can choose to remember that every time I talk to someone on the internet, I am talking directly to that person. The internet is a shared and public space, and when I talk here, I want to treat people with as much respect as I would treat them if we were talking face-to-face -face in, like, a park where everyone could see our entire interaction and judge us based on that interaction. And I can try to find people who behave in a similar fashion because I don't want to be in communities that treat each other poorly. However, I have to moderate the comments I receive online, and I have moderated on other people's channels and online spaces as well. And if people speak to each other with hate, disrespect, or malice, then they're gone. The internet is public, but in making this video, for example, I am inviting people from that public park into a party at my home. If you forget that I am a person and say something to me or anyone else that would make me kick you out of my home, then I am kicking you out of the space that I've built online. Now, in moderating, I've seen so many things that are just astonishing. Things that I really can't believe anyone would ever choose to say to another person. And I think a lot of the time when people leave rude or hurtful comments, it is because they forget that they're talking to someone and that they're talking with other people. Look, look, I don't care if you think you are the only human on the planet and are living in a simulation or are surrounded by paid actors or robots, you can still treat them kindly. You can still treat this as if we would hear you, because we will. I think Dodie Clark summed up this experience best in one tweet. The amount of times I have seen someone leave a rude comment, get a reply, and go, oh my god, I didn't think you'd see this. Then why did you write it? We can see what you write Everyone can see what you write. You are coming into our homes and painting it on our walls. You are shouting it out in the public square. You are talking directly to me when you leave a comment here. So just as a general rule, if you wouldn't say it to someone's face, don't say it on the internet because this is my face. You are saying it to my face. Please do leave a hopefully kind comment, subscribe to keep coming to these weird parties that I keep posting in my living room, watch another video of mine to keep engaging in the discussion, and support me on Patreon if you want to help me improve the qualities of my parties. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!